our next guest needs no introduction, but we're going to try anyway. <laughs> Recently retired Duke men's head basketball coach Mike Krzyzewski has won five NCAA national championships with the Blue Devils. Three Olympic gold medals with Team USA has the most Division I NCAA wins in history at 1,202. But who's counting? <laughs> On paper, undeniably the greatest college basketball coach in the history of the sport, and also an all-around nice guy. We haven't heard a lot from Coach K since the season ended in the Final Four back in April, but he's ready to talk now. Coach K, good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Good. Good morning, and thank you for the coverage. Uh, that you've had this morning, I, I think, uh, to share the thoughts of all these experts and how we might help the people uh, down in Texas is, uh, is very good. So thank you for what you're doing. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Coach. And uh, thanks for all you've done off the, co off the court over the years as well, uh, not just for the game of basketball, but in terms of developing young men. You know, let's reflect on that Final Four experience. Um, now that it's over, I mean, what, what comes to mind? Uh, from from that well really I, I think when you coach for 47 years <laughs> at West Point Duke and 11 years with the US if you look back on one thing whether it be a national championship or a loss in your final game I think you're kind of an idiot for doing that <laughs> uh, you know uh, like that you have to what I, I just look back and say how lucky I've been and mm -hmm to be with three amazing institutions, West Point, Duke, mm -hmm. and USA Basketball. What, a, what an honor and how lucky you are. And as a result, we I mean, we won a lot. You're gonna lose, and sometimes the losses are really stinging. But also, the, the victories are, are, are amazing. And when you're in the arena, you have to accept both. And uh, I've, I, when I look back, I, I just say I'm, I'm a lucky guy, and I'm really happy and at peace and I'm moving on to some really good things and, and trying to have our puppy trained. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Coach, there's, you know, a lot of players, uh, I'm thinking <clears throat> Tom Brady, who retire and then decide, ah, I don't want right. to retire, and they come back. Is, is this an official retirement? You're, you're done. You're not going to come oh, yeah. back. Well, Tom Brady's talented and uh, <laughs> uh, athletically, and uh, no, and he. I'm 75. I've done this <laughs> for almost a half a century. Uh, no, I'm I'm on to a, a other things, and but dealing with people, my Emily Shashevsky Center, helping a couple thousand kids in Durham, the V Foundation, speaking, and I'm also still an ambassador for Duke. I'm in my same office. Um, trying to help our university in the same ways that I did when I was coach, except I don't have to recruit, game plan, and John Shire's putting his program together really well, and I'll be in full support of that. Yeah, you know, Coach, it sounds like it's not so much retirement as more of a, a transition. Uh, and you mentioned, yes, it you, is. yeah, and yeah. you mentioned your puppy that uh, that uh, Coach Shire gave you, <laughs> and you've named him Coach. What is that like? I mean, between grandkids and a, and a puppy, you got you got your hands full. <laughs> well, we have a uh, a board and train right now because he's uh, Coach is going through a little bit of separation anxiety, and uh, so we're dealing with that. But uh, I love dogs. Uh, my wife and I, we've had labs, and we. We actually love our grandchildren a lot more. <laughs> the ten and uh, uh, I, I got to go. I'm not have to go. I'm going to an event for Kenzie tomorrow night. Uh, graduation on Friday. A big family thing together. Uh, and uh, I, I love the fact that my mind space now is first and foremost totally on my family mm -hmm. and uh, to enjoy them to the level that uh, they can give you enjoyment and they give you immense enjoyment. Coach, let's put that basketball hat on uh, for a moment here before we let you go. Uh, as someone yeah. who follows the game closely, who do we like in the NBA Finals? Do we like Miami, Boston? Do we like Golden State? Uh, Dallas. Well, who's, who's healthy? <laughs> uh, I think uh, the East especially They've beaten up on one another like crazy. That Milwaukee Celtics series was amazing basketball, and uh, I think it you know, took its toll a little bit on the Celtics. And then Miami's been 
you know, with Kyle. Kyle uh, played for me in, in the Rio Olympics. If they're both healthy, that that's a toss up, really. And uh, never underestimate Golden State. Yes. Uh, th those guys have a magic about them, and. You know, Draymond Green made a, a good point when they were knocked back the last couple of years. No one really unseated them. Uh, they were just hurt. Yeah, you lose Clay Thompson for two years. I coached him twice. Uh, he's, he's a killer, man. And uh, he's still not back to the level, but who knows as this keeps moving along. It's going to be exciting. There's no clear-cut favorite. Okay. No right. clear-cut favorite. Mike Krzyzewski, we yeah. could sit here and talk basketball here for, for another 20, 30 minutes, but the bosses would probably get upset. <laughs> Coach K, thank you. We want to we make this a regular thing. Anytime you want to come on and talk about whatever, you've got an open yeah. invitation. Yeah. Well, again, thank you for the coverage you're giving. And, yeah, we need we need to take care of this problem. 30 of these shootings and killings in our country in one year is totally unacceptable. Let's come on. Let's come together and figure out a solution to this. Agreed. Thank you, thank you Coach. Coach K. Agreed. Thanks, Coach. Yeah. All right. Thank you all. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.